She is in public. Why is she not wearing a bra? Why does it matter to you? Well, because she needs to cover that up. Why? Because it's all hanging out. And what is the problem with that? It's distracting. Who? Everyone. No one else seems to be bothered but you. Well, her not wearing a bra would be like me not wearing underwear. No, girls wear underwear too. Her not wearing a bra would be like you not wearing a bra. I'm a guy, why would I have to wear a bra? There's a lot of guys with bigger boobs than a lot of girls I know. Why should girls have to wear bras if guys don't have to? Well, um, hmm. See, you can't think of a reason other than that's what society said. If a girl doesn't want to wear a bra, she doesn't have to. Let them bitches fly free. Taylor was in the girls' bathroom at the same time as me, and it made me so uncomfortable. Why? Because she's trans. And she still has a penis. Why does that make you uncomfortable? I don't want a penis in the girls' bathroom while I'm in there. What, why does it even bother you? I don't know, it just does. How much time do you spend looking into the other stalls? I would never do that. So then why would you be bothered by or even know if a woman with a penis was in there? Well, well, you're fine hooking up with the crustiest guy on the football team in the back of his truck after his sweaty ass football game, but you're uncomfortable by someone using the bathroom that correlates with their gender. Uh, girl, you a different breed. Why did Cynthia disappear for half of class? Oh, she's on her period. Oh, ew, I don't want to hear about that. You asked. I thought you were going to say she was taking a shit or something. Periods are gross. And shit isn't? Also, periods are not gross. Half of the people in the world go through them. Well, I don't, so I don't want to hear about them. What? You need to learn about periods, especially if you're a straight male. You need to know what the woman you love is going through and how to help her. It's just so nasty. You know what's nasty? The way you smell like a dog's shit after eating a pound of steak mixed with rotting carcass, the way you look like Kermit the Frog and Oscar the Grouch had a devil child, and the way you act like a prepubescent sixth grade boy who just discovered porn for the first time. If Tommy changed his gender to a girl, then why is he still wearing men's clothes? First off, her name is Tiffany, not Tommy. Use her right name. Secondly, she goes by she, her, hers pronouns. Thirdly, she isn't wearing men's clothes. Yeah, he is. She, yeah, she is. She wears button downs and baggy shorts and jerseys. What's the problem with that? If he wants to become a girl, he should wear a girl's clothes. She is a girl. Clothing doesn't have a gender. She can wear whatever she likes. That doesn't change the fact that she's a girl. But why would you try and change your gender if you're not gonna act like that gender? She isn't trying to change her gender. Gender isn't a set in stone kind of thing. It's fluid because it is a societal construct. She identifies as a woman. There is no way to act like a certain gender. Clothes, makeup, style, even body parts don't decide your gender. How someone identifies as their gender and you need to respect that. Whatever, Tommy just needs to pick a gender. Okay, Taylor. I'm Tyler. Sorry, Taylor. Dude, knock it off. You don't like it so much, so stop dead naming. She is such a catfish. How? Well, she posts these pictures of her body, but she's covering up all her fat and they're clearly edited. No, she's posting a picture of her body and how she's comfortable with the world seeing it. Yeah, but in real life, she has more flabs. She just pulls her pants over it. And what's the problem with that? It's catfishing. She's tricking guys into thinking she's skinny. She is not catfishing. That is on you for assuming that every girl's body is what you deem perfect, when in reality all bodies are beautiful and flabs or not, she is stunning. If she wants to pull her pants above her waist, she can do that. It's not catfishing, it's just how she chooses to wear her pants. Nah, it's catfishing. She ain't got the type of body I like. Well then I guess you're a catfish too. How? I see you shoving that sock down those pants after gym class. You ain't fooling nobody. You try and make it look big, but we all know you got teeny baby carry. That's not true. Yes, it is. If she wears her pants how she wants to and you consider it catfishing, then it's catfishing of you to put a sock down there. That is not catfishing. It is when she signed up for the mile and only gets a little sprint. If you're saying there's bisexual people, then doesn't that mean there's only two genders? If I say I'm bilingual, does that mean there's only two languages? No, it means you only speak two of the languages. Right. So, I'm right. Are you dumb or are you stupid? 
The Bible says abortion is murder and being gay is a sin, so we should make laws against it. But what about separation of church and state? What? You know, the Constitution that you love so much states that religion should be left out of politics, meaning no one should be allowed to make laws based on their religion. Yeah, but... Even though there is freedom of religion in the U.S., Christianity is the dominant religion. Sadly, it rules many laws and ideas in our country. How would you feel if Islam was the main religion in the U.S. and by law you weren't allowed to eat pork even though that's not part of your religion? You can't make a law about not eating pork. Well, you want a law against abortions or against LGBTQ plus marriage just because of your religion? I don't see the difference. Well, God's word is what's important. That's great. That is what you believe, and I'm so happy for you. Religion is a beautiful thing. However, not everyone follows the same religion, and you need to understand that. Just because you believe or don't believe something doesn't mean everyone else has to agree. Taylor hooked up with Jack at the party. That's so slutty. Why do you consider her a slut and not Jack if they were both hooking up? Well, girls just really shouldn't hook up. Also, I heard two sophomore guys were hooking up. So gross. Why? I don't know, I- What a strong argument. You know it takes two people to hook up, right? If it's just one person, it's not a hookup. You are disgusted by two guys hooking up and you slut shame girls for hooking up, yet all you want to do is bang girls. Something just isn't adding up here. I don't know, it's just like, good for whatever guy gets her, you know? So why are you uncomfortable with two guys hooking up? It's kinda nasty. So you are only comfortable hearing about straight guys hooking up. But if they are straight, that means they'd have to hook up with a girl. But you don't think girls should hook up. But you're uncomfortable with guys hooking up with other guys. But you want to hook up with girls. But you don't want to hear about them hooking up, so you slut shame them. Uh, yeah. If 2 plus 2 is 4 and 5 plus 5 is 10, then what the fuck is this logic? Something ain't adding up. Oh my god, that's what Danielle actually looks like. I thought she was pretty. She is pretty. But she isn't wearing makeup and she's got a ton of acne. Better cover that shit up. Why should she have to cover up her acne? All teens have acne, it's part of growing up, that doesn't make her less attractive. I just think if she wants guys to notice her, she should put on some makeup. But not too much, because that's not attractive. I know this will be crazy to believe, like actually insane, but she doesn't wear makeup for you. I know, right? Shocking! But she actually wears makeup because she enjoys it, and she can wear as little or as much as she wants. I just think if someone has that much acne, they should put on some makeup. Oh, that's what you believe? Okay, I got some makeup right here in my bag. We better put that shit all over you because your skin isn't the clearest either. But I'm a dude, so it doesn't matter. I'm still attractive. <laughs> no, you are not. And not because of your acne. That doesn't matter. You ain't attractive because of your stubborn, misogynistic, shitbag personality. Women just really shouldn't be involved in politics. I think I know why you think that, but I want to hear you say it. Why do you think that? Well, because their periods make them emotional. The amount of times I've heard this stupid, dumbass reason. It's not stupid, it's true. If they're on their periods, they might make irrational decisions. Irrational decisions. Our male president is the one who wants to ban an app because it's ruining his campaign, spends more time on Twitter than worrying about a global pandemic, and almost started World War III. Well... On top of all that, you know nothing about periods, so you have no place to comment. I bet you're one of the guys who thinks you stick the pad right on the coochie, don't you? Hey, that's mean, bro. So now you're getting emotional because I proved you wrong. Seems like you're the one more likely to make irrational decisions. Now go throw a fit while playing video games and chuck your remote control and let the women and their allies do the work. What the heck is asexuality? It feels like every day there's a new sexuality. It's so annoying and confusing. Well, there really aren't that many. If you just educate yourself, it wouldn't be confusing. Asexuality basically means someone who doesn't experience sexual attraction. How could anyone not experience sexual attraction? Well, you know how some people love to, I don't know, play tennis. Well, you usually need a partner to play tennis, but there's some people that simply don't enjoy tennis or get any thrill out of it. And although they still care about other people, tennis isn't necessarily for them. That makes no sense. Oh, I forgot how small your mind is. Someone who is asexual doesn't have sexual feelings, and that is totally fine and normal. What? They don't get sexually horny, ya dumb bitch. That's weird. Leave them alone. How does it affect you? If they don't want to have sex, they don't have to. Just because you're hornier than a squirrel is for an acorn doesn't mean everyone is. Mind your own damn business. Janice told me she's bi, but she isn't. What do you mean? Well, she likes girls more, so she's not bi. 
Sir, I know you're not trying to be offensive, so I'ma just explain this to you nicely. You can still have a preference and be bisexual. Bi people aren't always 50-50. Oh my god, that's so annoying. They should really just make a choice. So now you're just being biphobic and I ain't got no tolerance for that, so educate yourself. What? You need to educate yourself on what it actually means to be bisexual. It means you're attracted to men and women. Even if you're like me and you're like 85, 15, or 90, 10, you're still bi. I don't think people understand how large the bi population is. If you're a straight guy who says, yeah, I'm straight, but like I'd mess around with guys and guys are attractive, guess what? Good for you, but you're not straight. I'll let you figure that out in your own time, but that doesn't give you the right to be biphobic. I have to wonder to myself, like, I have a big heart, a big ass, and an even bigger bank account. Like, what else more do you need?